If you've watched my previous videos, you've heard me suggest the Salmon Snake Soul for a fight. That accessory is the single best accessory in the entire game. Might even be the single best piece of equipment in the whole game. During battle, it prevents bleeding, critical injury, burning, leg infections, arm infections, arm loss, and leg loss. It basically single-handedly deals with every major run ender for solo characters. That alone would make it one of the best pieces of gear in the game, but it does more than that. Outside of battle, you can equip it to cure infections and bleeding. It's already an incredible accessory, but it also acts as an infinite use green herb and cloth fragment. Unlike my previous guides, I cannot provide a simple action guide for Salmon Snake. There is no overwhelmingly dominant and completely consistent strategy to trivialize this boss without going into extremely late game equipment. There's several things you can do that work reliably, but you'll have to pick from these strategies based on your party and equipment. The Salmon Snake has two methods of hurting you, his arms and his tongue. After the first turn, his tongue will slowly start to emerge. It takes two turns to fully extend, and when it's fully extended, it will use an instant kill coin flip attack. You can guard it, but whenever the tongue takes damage, it retreats inside the mouth. If you can deal 500 damage to it in one round while it's fully inside the mouth, you can kill it. It heals to full each time it extends at all, though. It's not a huge threat, it's mostly a nuisance. The big threat is the arms. Each arm has a 50% chance of using Smash, and Smash has a 60% chance to stun you for two turns. If you fight Salmon Snake alone and don't bring a plate helmet or the gaunt bassinet or the penance armor, it's pretty easy for him to stun lock you into oblivion. You can also use extra attack from fast attack or white angel to recover from stun in fewer rounds. The arms have a hefty 800 hit points each. His head has 1200 hit points and will headbutt every turn if both arms are gone. It's less dangerous than Smash, but deals more damage on average because he uses it every round. His torso has 1250 hit points. Strategy 1. Tank and Poison. The easiest way to deal with Salmon Snake is Poison and Tank. If you have a way to cause poison and decent armor, you can simply poison his body, and specifically his body, not his head, and then get smashed a bunch. Any status effect kills his body in three turns, so worst case scenario gets smashed six times and then he dies. If you're playing as Knight and picked Manage the Defenses in Character Creation, your starting gear is enough to keep you alive. Worst case scenario, you'll take a little under 100 damage and around 45 on average. You could tank by having multiple party members, but without Warcry or Pheromones, there's no guarantee he won't just maul the main character because of bad luck, so I can't recommend it. Oh yeah, the head takes 50% more damage when the body is poisoned, but that barely matters when the body dies so quickly to poison. Strategy 2. Dense Gnome Eggs. The second easiest way to deal with the Salmon Snake is to kill the Cave Mother and stunlock him for 6 turns by using Gnome Eggs. See my video for how to kill Cave Mother safely. If you use the talk command and select offer a gnome egg, Salmon Snake won't attack you that round, or the next round. Do this every turn and this will stun him long enough that even if your only other party member is the girl with the cursed dagger, you can kill him before he finishes eating the eggs. Just remember that after round 6, you should start attacking too. Strat 3. Sparse Gnome Eggs. If you don't have controllable party members, this won't work as well. Auto attackers focus on his eyes and tongue. In the case of Moonless, these are the only two things you'll attack until both of them are gone. With a party like that, you might be better off using Gnome Eggs every third turn. Why every third turn? Because this mechanic is bugged and doesn't work right. Feeding him a gnome egg stuns him for two rounds, but if you feed him another gnome egg on the second round, it won't stun him again. He'll just attack normally and you wasted an egg. The best thing you can do there is feed an egg, attack, attack, repeat. He'll get one set of attacks off every three turns. If you use this, focus on destroying his eye first. Strategy 4. Eye Cut. 
This is the intended way to fight him, and I really recommend bringing a plate helmet or a way to get double turns. Or several party members. His eye has 150 hit points, but 40% evasion, so try to get everyone to focus on it. If you destroy it, it changes the behavior of the arms. Instead of each arm attacking half the time and tensing up the other half of the time, it will only start attacking 25% of the time. From here, focus on attacking the head, smacking the tongue back into Salmon Snake's mouth, and healing when necessary. Moonless is pretty good to bring along for this threat. She'll focus on mauling the eye, then put bleed on the tongue, so you won't actually have to worry about the tongue for the rest of the fight. Bleed will keep it in the mouth. She'll only attack the tongue though, and won't stop until a different part has less hit points than the tongue. Strategy 5. F*** it, we ball! I wouldn't seriously recommend this strategy, but I've relied on it in a few of my hard mode runs. This is a strategy exclusive to Ragenvolder and Marriage. If you bring the purified Eastern Sword, you can just aim for the head and hope you get a crit to kill it instantly. It's a 70% gamble. I consider these the main strats, but you'll need to mix and match based on your party composition and the items you've found. Maybe you're solo and don't have any armor because you're Enki, so you feed a gnome egg and toss a poison dart and guard. Maybe you don't have the purified eastern sword, but do have other high damage weapons. So you can attempt strategy 5 and hope neither party member gets stunned. Regardless of how you approach this, killing the salmon snake nets you the single best soul in the game, a bunch of salmon snake meat if you have the skinning knife, a helmet with damage reduction as good as the plate helmets or iron masks, and the ability ability to wear that helmet to loot the cube of depths from the cave dweller village without making any enemies. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.